Yeah. Uh, ano po siya? Audu, uh, uh, naudu. Naudu, bila. Okay. Let me tell you the secret later. Okay, when okay. when I discuss this one, I'll be telling you why is it it's here. Thank you. Okay. 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 Just tell me if you're done. Well, done, Mama. Tell us. One minute, please. Let us wait for your classmate. We also read the Arabic or just the English word? Done. The mom said also the Arabic. Okay. Done. I guess most of you are already done. Everyone, if I cannot hear you since the rain here is very very heavy you can just chat me or comment you what do you want to say or questions that you didn't understand okay i'll still be continuing on discussing things inshallah but um if i cannot hear you for your words or your questions you can just write it on the comment section will it be okay it's yes, okay but though i can still hear you but it's just a, a little bit um Disturbing. The, the rain is very disturbing. That's why. Now, when do we say Allahu Akbar? <coughs> I said already, has be Allah is for those time that we are having some trouble, no? Or we have a hard time on coping things. Wala nang pera or ano ba, kung anong problema mo dyan, you can say has be Allah. Because when you say has be Allah, Allah is sufficient for me. It means you are contented with everything that Allah is giving you. Whatever the struggle you are uh, you are in, just say has be Allah. Because do you know that um, in verse in Quran, there is a word that if we say thank you for everything that we have, okay? Wala in shakaratum la adidan lagum. It is an Arabic word, Arabic verse in Quran saying that Allah said, when you just say thank you for what I give you, I will add you or I will give you more than what you expect. So, Arab people and Muslim people believe in that. Even in tiny things that they're getting from anything, when they said, has to be Allah, they think Allah is sufficient, Allah will add them more with what they have. So that is the optimicity of the word has be Allah. That is the good thing about that word has be Allah. All right? And you can also say alhamdulillah. 
whatever the situation is, you can still say Alhamdulillah because it is also another way of saying thank you Allah even for the tiniest things that He is blessing you with. Now, let us continue with the word Allahu Akbar. Okay, uh, as a Filipino, no? Um, as they, mga Pilipino dito sa Pilipinas, or even if you're not Filipino, when you hear, when you hear the word Allahu Akbar, most of the most of the Filipino um citizen they said ah oh, terrorista they will uh, they will think immediately Allah oh, Allahu Akbar sabi niya Allahu Akbar sabi niya it 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 is for an, for another words of we are terrorizing people no please delete that into your mind the word Allahu Akbar is very holy okay Allahu Akbar is something very huge that we can't even um, say it by just, you know, without any meaning. While you say Allahu Akbar, it is just a very big evidence that you are respecting the one who created us. Okay? And this expression, most especially in Arab countries, this is very popular. Saying Allahu Akbar is a great word that you can ever say. Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. It's just, say, for example, you're a Catholic, oh, uh, you will say, oh my God, diba? Most of the time, if you are on, on the things that you're, um, every, every, the daily works, you, you have to say, oh my God, okay? Instead of saying, oh my God, you can just say, Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Will you say that? Allahu Akbar. Very good. It is just very funny because when you say, Hala, nana, andyan na naman yung mga wakbar, wakbar, they actually treating us as terrorists, but no, Allah Akbar is a holy word. Uh, why is it that the, 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 the people who used to fight Akbar because they think that even if they died on that battlefield, they they they, they mention the word Allah. It is holy holy thing for them to do. Okay, it is just a part of their religion that saying Allah Akbar before they die is a holy thing to do. So it's not um it's not a sign that. Saying Allahu Akbar is we are trying to fight, we are starting to fight. No. Okay? Allahu Akbar is also an expression or a word that you can say. For example, you're driving a car. What do you mean by ascending? Diba? Papa pa itaas. No. If you're driving a car, Allahu Akbar is also a great word for you to say. If you are ascending, Okay, there is a road, a tall road, then you have to ascend your car, you have to say Allahu Akbar. Is that okay? Is that clear? No. Um, um, okay, for those people who didn't know yet, why is it that Arab people always saying Allahu Akbar when they drive? Especially on the, the ascending part of the road, it is to say Allah is the greatest when they're ascending. Okay, let us continue. Subhanallah, when they are descending. Am I right? Ascending if it is going up. Descending if it is going down, right? Am I right? Yes. Okay. Descending if getting down. Ascending if getting going up. up. So when you're driving a car, if you are a male, and you are driving a car for your amo, for your employee, you can say Allahu Akbar if you are ah, Subhanallah if you are driving on the descending part of the road. Is that clear? Um, yes, no. No. Okay, what I'm trying no. to teach you here is the word that you can use daily. No? Those words that I'm teaching you is the words that you can use daily. Let us continue. Now, uh, wait. Will you please say 
say subhanallah subhanallah why is it that you also hear Arab people saying subhanallah when there is a thunder there is an earthquake there is something huge that is happening or a bad calamity that is happening it is because subhanallah is also an expression that you can say if you are in a um trouble uh calamities no you can say subhanallah or na ka. For example, you na ka, no? You 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 get some pain on your head, then you will say Subhanallah. There is a um accident, car accident. You can actually say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Huh? Subhanallah for the bad thing that is happening. Subhanallah. Glory be to Allah. And you can also. So say subhanallah if you if you see a miraculous thing no miraculous thing that's happening around you you can believe that it is happening you can say you can uh, still say subhanallah subhanallah you are. so keep that in mind huh subhanallah we have here na'udhu billah some of you said Ma'am, why is it that I hear people saying "Na'udhu Billah"? Why is it here "Na'udhu Billah"? Bismillah. Na'udhu Billah. If you are in a group, Na'udhu Billah. If you are in a group, okay, you will use "n" na Na'udhu. But if you are just alone, alone, you have to say "Na'udhu." Na'udhu Billah. Na'udhu Billah. Na'udhu Billah. For the groupings. For example, you are very afraid. Something is happening and you cannot explain. And of course, we people do believe that there is an evil happening around us. No, we cannot say it's not there. It's everywhere even people can commit evil things no even a human can make an evil thing so you can just say a'udhu billah or you can say na'udhu billah for the shorter kind of um seeking refuge but if you want to say it fully a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim but na'udhu billah is enough or a'udhu billah is enough. That will be okay, inshallah. Again, will you please say the na'udhu billah? Na'udhu billah. Na'udhu billah. Na'udhu billah. Na'udhu billah. Na'udhu billah. Na'udhu billah. Alon a'udhu billah. Very good. Now you say that na'udhu billah if you see something evil. Huh? Something evil. Whether it is an, a non-human evil thing or a human itself. You see a human becoming a devil in front of you, you can just say na'udhu billah. Na okay? Billah. After hearing you saying astaghfirullah, they will be <laughs> a shy, I guess, if they cannot forgive you. No? So it is another tip. Astaghfirullah for the word. If you are, if you did a mistake on your workmates or anyone else. Inshallah. Now, as we end this one, can you please say Barakallah? Barakallah. 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 Bismillah. Bismillah. Okay, let us see if you memorize those words. 
When, what to say if you are asking refuge from Allah? What do you say? What do you say if you are driving a car and you are What if you are descending? Subhanallah. What do you say if you commit mistake or mistake? Very good. What do you say if um, you are in trouble or something. The last word is what do you say? Mm -hmm. What do you say if you are amazed with something beautiful? Very good. It is also, guys, um, it is also their way of saying congratulations. Inshallah, if you got perfect score, I'll be telling you Barakallahu laki. Barakallahu I am congratulating you. Huh? I am congratulating you. Therefore, you will you will be happy hearing me saying Barakallah. Yeah, yung dugtong ng pag sinabi mong mashallah ta barakallah, ba ma'am? Okay. Mashallah. Ah, tabarakallah. Very good. Excuse me, ma'am. Tabarakallah. Okay, very good, everyone. Okay. Tabarakallah. To begin anything, bismillah. Yes, for you to everything. Okay, enough for the vocabulary. It's now 2.06. Okay, we have to finish this all, inshallah, tonight. Okay, let me discuss the al-harakat or the vowels. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, rest. I'll be giving you one minute rest for the vocabulary so that you'll be able to um, get the new information, inshallah. 60 seconds, rest your mind. 60 seconds only, huh? One minute. Don't think anything. Don't think anything yet. Because we will be discussing al harakat wal mad, al harakat wal mad, or the vowel. Bismillah, 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 Bismillah. Bismillah. Okay, I guess it's enough. When we say harakat or the vowels, it's not actually a letter. Okay? It is strong if you think that vowels in Arabic is a or alif. No? It is strong. Vowels in Arabic is not a letter. It is just a kuwait or something that we put above or at the bottom. So, welcome to the world of vowels. We have here I E O U or A. Ah. Why is it that I write it that way? Okay. This is what we call fatha. Your mouth should be open and the coat should be written above the letter. A. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, for example, there is an alif here. The sound of alif is U. Uh. Uh, uh. And I added letter A, then it will become a fully letter A. Ah. 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 You have to ah. open your mouth. Ah. 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 And we have also here. Ooh. The, ooh. In, in Arabic, we don't have O and U. We just have lang. Pinag-isa yung u tsaka yung u. It is combined with each other and it becomes like this. Okay? How do we write this one? Above the letter, this, there is a 
Okay? Image yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. And this uh, 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 become U. Your mouth should be in circle form. O. O. And we have this Kestra. Kestra. Okay. So this Kuwait should be written at the bottom. From the letter uh, 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 it will become E. 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 A. E. U. E. 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 U. A. And that is what we so called vowel in Arabic. Okay. The mouth, if you are trying to say, uh, if you're adding a fatha on a letter, your mouth should be open, widely open. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ba, ta, bo, po, po. It should be widely open. But if you're trying to read a letter in Arabic which has bomba or u or you, you have to say u, 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 Ho, do, okay. Do. And if you're trying to write or to read a letter which having a kasra on the bottom part, you have to make your mouth like this. E. 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 A. Dicen, madam. Dicen. Carmi. Carmi. The A is widely open. O is strongly closed. O. And E is like this. Okay. A A E A O E A O E A O E E. So that is a sign. If I will say, what? How do you read letter B B B? Adding a letter or a vowel like this. A B A A A. Okay, a vowel like this. O O O O. We have here the name of the, the, the vowel which is written above the letter. We call it patha. Say it again, patha. <laughs> the letter which is a corresponding or representation of O and U. We call it bomma. 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 Representation Dumma. of the vowel Dumma. E or I, it is so-called kasra. 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 Kas